What's up y'all welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be continuing our automatic video editor series and in this video in particular we're going to be wrapping our video editor into an API. We're going to wrap it in the API and then we're going to deploy it locally on our machine. We'll create an API because in the future we're going to set it on a server that's going to communicate with Firebase and what it's going to do is it's going to grab the video from Firebase, download it, edit it and then upload that edited video to Firebase. All right, so let's get into it. First, what, um, so what I did is I just created a new window and I created a new folder called auto edit API dash API and it's gonna be empty and I wanna do it in a different folder. That way we can keep this clean. We don't mess with it here, mess with anything here since this is gonna serve a different purpose. All right, so I'm gonna create a main py file and I'll minimize this for now, but we're going to use it in a little bit. So we need to go to terminal python m virtual environment, virtual environment. You hit enter, you know that. And then source v bin, oh, bin dash active or slash activate. All right. Oh, how <laughs> that happens sometimes the typo source v bin activate. All right, so what are we gonna need? So we're gonna be using fast API to build out our API using with Python. Um, so we're gonna need fast API. We're gonna need MoviePy, since we're gonna bring in the MoviePy stuff that we have in the other project folder. What else do we need? Oh, we need Pan, Pan no, Py, Pydantic. And that's just like a Python library that we're gonna use as, um. you guys can look it up, it's called Pydantic. We're gonna use the base model feature, which will, um, in our API, we're going to use it so that the user can actually pass in some a model slash object and we can actually do something with that information. So you do pip install. Oh, so we're going to pip install all of these. And all right, we should be good to go. So let's import fast API. Import fast API. Let's see what else do we need. I'm going to, I'm going to create a new file called video. And this is the file where we're going to put our our previous project code in there. So what I'm gonna do in this file is I'm gonna just rip these functions out. Hit copy, hit copy. So I'm gonna hit copy here and rip this into here. All right. Oh, and looks like we have, to, do we have to pip install NumPy? It's already there, so. So it's giving us a import error, not sure why. Let's see, I'm gonna try to fast or API. Should be working. Sometimes it takes a second for it to, to correct itself. All right, so. We have this stuff, we have the video editor here. So we're gonna wanna import video editor. We just import video editor. All right, so we have an app instantiated. Let's try to see if we can actually get this running. So we're gonna do get uh, forward slash, and then below it, you wanna create a definition of your function. And in this function, we're gonna return JSON or dictionary. Hello world, this worked. And we actually need to pip install UV corn. I just noticed. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run this locally. So when we, we're gonna run this on our local host. And if this is working, then we should see this on the page. So what do we need to run? We need to run UV corn. So you need to run the name of the, the file, main, and then the, the name of the fast API instance. And then you do dash dash reload so that any changes you make are automatically updated. All right, so once this is running, you just command click on this and then boom, hello world, this worked. So it's working. And you can also use Postman if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to use the browser, you can use Postman and hello world, this worked. All right, so now we need to create our, we're gonna create a path for our um, video editor. And we're gonna be using Postman in this video we're gonna be using Postman to send these post requests because of course in the browser, you can't really send a post request. So that's, um, that's something to note. So you might wanna download Postman if you don't have it yet. It's a very useful tool. I use it a lot and great tool to have. And then what path do we want? We'll call this um, video. No, let's call this edit video. Edit video, all right. And then we need to create a function below it. We'll call this edit video function and oh i just realized we need to do something so when we can use pydantic now that um now that we're here 
this is where we're going to use Pydantic. So we need to create a, um, a class called video item. We'll pass in base model. Oh, I need to import Py from Pydantic import base. So with Pydantic, for whatever path, if we require it to pass in a video item, then it'll require that the network requests have a video title dash or yeah, a video title of type string in the network request. And we can return video dot video title. And I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go to postman and try to run this and let's see. So well, actually wait, look. So let's change this to get and let's go to edit video and see what happens. Method not allowed. And that's why we need to like if you went to the browser and did this, you'd probably see the method not allowed. That's how we need to change this to post, and then I believe it's gonna say missing parameter. Yeah. Missing required fields. So what we have to do is in the body, we have to go to body, raw, change this to JSON. You hit the curly braces and then you want to instantiate a video title and then you get a value, one, two, three. Now we hit send and we get back one, two, three. If you hit a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, it gives us, a, it gives us that back. All right, so, so this is good, this is good. I'm going to clear this out and let's go back to the video edit function. And now what do we want to do? So we want to grab the, the file name and we can do that by just going to video video title. And that's going to be the file name. And again, since we're running this locally for now, it's going to have to be here. So let's actually open up our previous project and I want to move some stuff over. Copy, paste, there you go. And I'm gonna copy the I'm gonna copy these two, since I'm gonna use this one for the for the example paste. All right, we can get rid of that. So now we have the videos that we're gonna be working with. We have our intro, our outro. We have the YouTube overlay, and now we have the video we want to edit. So the file name will be the name of the video. What else do we need? I want to create a. Um, I'm gonna create a um, the output file name, and to do this, I'm gonna grab the. I need to grab the title of the file name because the, the file name is going to contain like a .mp3 or .mov depending on what kind of file you're working with. And the way around that is we're going to use an index of the dot and we'll get the title from the file name by just grabbing the part that comes before the dot. So we do title equals file name all the way up to the index of where the dot is. And then I'll do output file name equal create an f string and we'll do title dash edited dash mp4 all right and now we just need to edit the video so i'm going to call video editor dot edit video and in this function it's the same as this one right here it's this edit video function so we need to pass input output youtube uh add intro add outro so the input is just the file name the output, output, file name, um, is YouTube, we'll set that to true, we'll do add intro, we'll set that to true, and add outro, we'll set this to false, just for this example, and this will run, and we'll get back a response once it's done, so let's, let's just change this to finish editing, um, let's do file name, finish editing, command S, and now let's do a side by side. So let me minimize this and hit command B to hide a side. All right. So if I hit send, there's going to be error, right? Because there's no file named empty. Yeah, had like I guess an error. There was no index of dot. So it couldn't even do this. All right. So what was our file name again? Fetch dash image dot MOV. So fetch dash image dot MOV. And we hit send and let's see what happens. So it's sending the request. And if we scroll down, we got a print statement. So I believe the this function is being ran right now. Oh, and we'll see our video is editing. And this is just going to say send in requests for a while. So, ah, and our video is editing. We'll be I'll be back once it's over. All right. <laughs> All right, it just finished. And um, the the loading here stopped. And you see, oh, fetch uh, image movie, finish editing. And our service still running. We should go here. And, oh, it should be here. And this takes a while to oh, it opens up. Sometimes I, it doesn't open up, so you go to your finder to, to open it up. And oh, it opened up on the side. This is the edited one. It's seven minutes long. 
the original one, 13 minutes. Let's see, did it add the intro? Yes, it did. And oh, there was a YouTube thing, and I think, yeah, no outro. Oh, what is that? <laughs> oh, you guys can't see. I'm <laughs> making a face. And yeah, so our API is working, and it's pretty much set. Like, you can play around with this if you want, and uh, add other random API, um, at random uh, other, you can add other routes if you want. You can make this a get request if you want to just be able to get in with, um, start the video editing and just if you hit the URL. But I, I like the post request way the best because that way you can send the, the video, the you can send the file name of the video. And what we're going to do in the future is we'll probably send in like a download. You, you'll send, we'll send a download URL and maybe like an email or something like that. We will put it, we'll add it here to require it to be sent in the in the post request right here. But that's for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We took our video editor and wrapped it in the API. And now it's pretty much ready to be sent off to a server so that we can use it remotely. Oh, and before we wrap up too, one thing I want to note in this edit video function, we could actually add in, um, there's, a, there's something called preset. And what this will dictate is how fast it takes to to write the, the video file here. And we have, there's quite a few options. There's like slow, very slow, medium, fast, faster, very fast, super fast. And I think the, the what do you call it? I like to go with super fast. And what it, it doesn't affect like the video quality at all. What it affects is the video size and using something like super fast or I think the highest one is like ultra fast that just makes you the rendering happen faster and as a result the file size can be a little bit bigger but I found super fast to be really helpful I think the default was medium and that's why the video process or the video writing might have been taking a little longer than usual so yeah make sure you add this to the API and to the um all right make sure you so make sure you add this to the the API and also to the, make sure you add it to the original folder that we're working with that has the edit video function. And that'll just make the processing a lot faster and you won't have to wait that long. I hope you enjoyed the video. We took our video editor and we wrapped it in API and now it's ready to be sent off to a server. And we're gonna be doing that in the next video. So make sure you tune into that. Peace, peace. I'm riding between it all in this perfect play. I'm a piece of the puzzle, I'm a fit where you need me.